Hey, welcome back to Rod Fest Adventures. Today we are continuing the uh, restoration, or as uh, Volkswagen Live said in their last video, road storation, because uh, this isn't a full restoration of our of our vehicle. We're just keeping her on the road and uh, slowly improving things. So I guess that's a more appropriate term for it. But this is our 73 thing, which is now named Daisy. My wife made this fancy sticker. But uh, today we're gonna start with a mail call um, of parts from thingparts.com. Um, Michael Basso at thingparts.com has been very helpful. Um, I've been able to send him photos on on Messenger and uh, ask him, hey, what is this? Do you have this? And he has a lot of the, the little tiny stuff that uh, fills in the details. So I got some pretty cool things. So let's see what's in these boxes. All right, so what we have here, um, he had a uh, new Bosch horn, which ours is in pretty bad shape because it's under the car. Um, the horn on ours is pretty corroded and nasty. So that's something we can replace. Hopefully we can get that working. New seat belt clips. Ours, uh, one of them is like homemade plastic and the other one is homemade metal. These are very nice stainless steel ones. Um, old down strap for our top and sun visor retainers because we have no sun visors on this car. And then this, possibly the coolest um, accessory I've ever seen for a thing. What we have here, I sent Michael a message and said, hey, what uh, what are these brackets here beside my back seat? And he said, oh, those are for the optional rifle carrier. <laughs> and he said, I have some new old stock ones. And I said, well, Michael, I, I definitely, definitely don't need that. But uh, I'm also definitely going to buy that. So <laughs> I... <laughs> bought a new old stock pair of these to go on the factory brackets, which I think is just the coolest thing we could possibly have. Uh, I've never seen them on a thing before, so we're going to install these. And box number two. I am guessing because the brackets were in the other box that this is our sun visors. Ah, yeah, these are our uh, backrest snap set. Um, those are also, one of them on my car is missing and one of them, the other one is smashed. So we're going to replace those. And these are our new sun visors. So we're going to get all this stuff installed today. And the other thing we're going to do is tackle, um, we mentioned in our last video, we're going to tackle the uh, air cleaner. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, so you saw in our uh, oil vent um, and filler video, uh, this air cleaner, which this is PVC pipe up here. Um, so I don't know if uh, maybe one of the previous owners was a plumber by day, but uh, this is pretty nasty. Um, so it's going away. But thankfully the bracket is still in here and it's in good shape. And I did receive the um, original oil air filter with the car. So we're gonna put that back in. We're gonna get rid of this nonsense here. And we're gonna be able to revent most of the, these lines back into that air filter like it's supposed to be. So one thing we're dealing with right now is this roll bar. I initially liked this roll bar quite a bit um, it looks pretty decent, but when we did our uh, first responders cruise here the other day, we decided it would be cool to put the windshield down. And uh, I unclipped my side and Mary got out to unclip her side. And the windshield latch hits right here on the roll bar. So we can't actually put the windshield down with this roll bar in. And now that I have these new um, sun visors in, uh, it's actually in the way of putting them up and out of the way also. So I don't know what is going to be the future of this roll bar. Um, so in the comments, why don't you let us know what you think about this roll bar? Um, 
Should we should we just live with it, or should we uh, take it off entirely? Maybe we should get another one. Um, if you have one that you like on your thing, uh, put a link to it in the comments, because I, I think at the moment I like the concept of a roll bar better than I actually like this particular roll bar. Thankfully it was only held in with six screws, or six bolts through the floor pans. Um, so I think for the moment we're going to take it off and see what it looks like. Well, windshield's down, roll bar's off. Things gonna stay this way for a little bit this summer, but. All right, so it's a week later. Um, I had to figure out what I didn't have, and the main thing being this little vacuum valve that sits on top of this piece that comes out of the air cleaner to open and close the carburetor heat door. Um, obviously, this air cleaner isn't that uh, difficult. It's just Figuring out what I didn't didn't have was kind of a pain. So I got some new lines, another order from thinkparts.com, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get it finished up, wrapped up today. And my uh, main piece here that goes from the air cleaner to the carburetor, I thought mine was good, but uh, I realized it had a bunch of silicon in this expansion area, and I peeled it back and it was all cracked and nasty underneath it, so I got a new one of those as well. got it all hooked up. Uh, let's try it for the first start with all the uh, air cleaner and carburetor preheat and everything. This is the first time it's had all that stuff hooked up in a long time, so let's give it a try. So in the time since we took the roll bar off, which you saw earlier in the video, uh, we decided that that roll bar was not going to go back on, and we did go ahead and sell it. Um, I sold it to another local guy with a thing who bought it with the intention of using it for a sunshade top um, during the summer uh, because he has a hard top for his, so that's a great idea. Um, also, you'll notice we didn't get to the rifle or access video. Um, they're not quite as plug and play as I had hoped. Uh, they do just bolt up to the brackets that I showed you the pictures of, the upper part of them, but the lower part needs a little L bracket and that fat needs to go down beside the seat and we're going to have to do some drilling to find out if there are capture nuts behind the panel or not. So, not sure how that's going to go, so if you're interested in the rifle racks and their installation, watch out for another video, it'll be coming. Um, but uh, in the meantime, things are starting to open up a little bit here in 2020. Um, and uh, maybe I'll be able to get a haircut soon. Maybe I'll be able to and I won't. We'll find out. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I hope things are well with you. And I uh, sure appreciate you watching Garage Misadventures. Keep watching. We'll have more videos on our thing and our bus. Slowly improving them as we get parts. And uh, let us know in the comments what you think. If you think we should leave it like this, nice and open. Or if we should... Be on the lookout for another roll bar. Um, we're definitely open to the concept. We just decided that particular one was not for us. But uh, if you got one you like, let us know. Talk to you soon.